What's a 2 0 defeat at home to Chester tonight? How do you sum that one up? So much to talk about in that game, so many incidents. Um, obviously, the sending offs will be, will be the key, but I think that deflects away from, from me an outstanding performance. Um, story of the season, a little bit. First half, going down the hill, creating chance after chance. Um, you know, we've, we've got to start taking chances. Um, goal disallowed for offside, lads are saying in there, not sure who was offside. It's not quite going our way at the moment regarding that, but we've we've got to be better. We've got to be more clinical with our opportunities. Set the set off the game really well. First five minutes, camped, camped in there, putting crosses in, creating opportunities. Um, the lads gave everything. They really gave everything. It's uh, I just said to him in there. I'm, I'm I'm really pleased with the performance. Obviously not the result, but uh, I don't think they could could have get any anything else physically. You know they're, they're out on the feet tonight, and obviously to finish the game as well with. Uh, with nine players, um, is disappointing. I don't want to say too much about that, to be honest, Tom. Um, got to be careful what I say as regarding that. But our, our, our discipline has to be better as well. You know, it's it's not just down to blaming referees and blaming uh, officials. It's about us getting our house in order as well. So that's important moving forward. Is it disappointing when we've worked so hard to create chances, and then is it disappointing with the manner that they kind of score their goal? It's a crossing, drop to the back post, and he's got a simple finish. Always. Always, it's you know, spoke about it from day one. It's, it's what happens in both boxes, and that's letting us down a little bit at the moment. I thought we defended really well as a whole, um, made first contact a lot, you know, chances created. We've created enough chances to win the game. All of a sudden, it changes mentality as well. If we get the first goal, you know, they're coming here, pitch is not great, it's not what they're used to. You know, all of a sudden, you go behind, their, their mentality changes, and they become weaker and we become stronger, but uh, that wasn't the case. And then I said to the lad, you know, challenge you to get, you know, back-to-back -back, um, results. As in, don't have to be back-to-back -back wins. You know, if we can't get a win, let's make sure we stay nice and solid. But um, yeah, disappointing. But goals to concede. Obviously, second ones after we've certainly got at least one sent off. I can't remember. Um, it is what it is. We just have to brush down. We've got a little break now. Um, need to have a look at what we've got for the next game. There's some suspensions coming in there. Um, I think Keynes, if it's a straight red, it'll be a three as well, which is really disappointing because he's been superb since he's, since he's come to the club. So, lots of disappointment tonight, but that's going to camouflage, you know, for me, a really good performance where their bench were really quiet, their manager were quiet first half. He knows that we were a better team by a country mile. Certainly the first half hour of the game, they grew into the game after that, but... Uh, it's not just being the best team, we've created the best chances overall, over the, even over the 90 minutes we've created a lot more chances than they have. They've just been more cl uh, clinical than we have um, and that's it in a nutshell really. Is it frustrating that that's twice in a row in the league where we've been kind of pushing to get back in the game and whatever you think of the refereeing decisions, we've gone down to 10 men and that's kind of stalled our momentum there now? Yeah, massively. It does. It, um, it kills it because, you know, 11 v 11 at 1-0, we, we're still in the game, we're still pushing, we're still creating. You know, we're still working hard. You know, the lads put an unbelievable shift in tonight. Uh, I was so pleased with them, you know, physicality-wise. You know, Saturday's stats are really through the roof as well. That's mostly run on Saturday at Bradford to get that win. And I'm sure these will be up there with it. So I can't ask a lot more. I can ask for a little bit, obviously, more discipline. I can ask for a little bit more quality, but I can't ask for anything, you know, the physicality side, because um, the boys are getting everything. And the key and red card, obviously, is probably the biggest talking point happened a lot closer to you than this side what did you make of that one uh, I, felt he, I felt he got the ball I didn't have the great, the greatest view so I'm not going to again criticise officials or criticise Kean. I'm not quite sure I'd like to see it back um, this, the ball certainly moved in a different direction so he's obviously got his foot on the ball after that I'm not quite sure um, referee's probably got a better view than me um, and sometimes you just got to take your punishment you can't keep blaming officials all the time I'm not going to do that Although some of the decisions tonight were a bit strange, we didn't seem to get a lot off him. You know, there's a, f a few fouls against us. Certainly one leading up to uh, their first goal as well. Thought Lewis Turner was fouled in the build-up to that uh, as, he, as he cleared the ball for a throw-in. Um, you know, all of a sudden we get that foul and we're we're, we're playing down there into the pitch at nil-nil, not conceding at one-nil. So you don't get everything your way, and it's it's a difficult job being a referee. Um, so again, I'm not, I'm not going to criticise. Where does this? 
leave us going forward because obviously the, the break would have been useful to get a few players back but we're going to be without three players now for the next game anyway after tonight. Yeah, scratching my head a little bit, that's where it leaves me at the moment, you know, because you're looking at this game and then you've got a 10 day break uh, up, up to Peterborough, so you're looking at, you know, getting some work into Adam Clayton, getting some work in, into into Isaac, giving the lads a little bit of, of, of breathing space, the lads who've played all the games, um, goes out of the window a little bit, so we have to look in the market, um, because again, we only had three outfields on, on the bench. Um, to be fair to Bang, won't very well either. I've chucked him on obviously last five because we're just trying to chase the game. Um, so we're going to probably have to go into the market. It was, uh, you know, a couple of days now to think about things, uh, debrief everything in my mind, and, uh, and put a plan forward, moving forward. <laughs>